Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the 1.8 update for Imperium Galactic Survival. In fact, I should say that we are playing the 1.8.8 .8 update. This because there was another small patch released on the 10th of August 2022. It's only had a couple of small fixes in it, but one of them is quite significant, which I do want to mention. That is the fact that they say that they fixed the problem where um, weather events like fire, rain and hail are able to hit the player when they're inside a building. Now, this has been a bug that's been around for a little while, actually. And I'm really glad that they've actually put, finally fixed that because it's nothing more annoying than when you think you're in cover and you're still getting hit by hailstones. Now, you can see what I've done is I've redocked the Purple Baron to the MCR Pioneer because what I've done since the end of the last video, in fact, let's just do a quick recap. In the last video, we did the wins and losses um, uh, story chapter where we went to the prison and released the prisoners. We got ourselves a poster and we've now got to a story chapter called Murky Christmas where we've got to go back to the Elyon system. Now, I'm a little bit confused because I got a feeling this is the special mission that Elyon issued for Christmas. And, I've got, and I can't see how that can actually tie into the the main story mission and, I've, and so it looks very much like they they with the recent release they and that's the full release not the patch release they have not really added to the main storyline what they've seemed to have done is just tacked on this murky christmas now we will be taking a look at this but what i've done off camera if i come here and show you the galaxy i've kind of <laughs> created a loop and i I think well, I'm not sure where Elion is actually because we we kind of went out to do the various stages in the mission you can see I came around in a loop here and then I think Elion is up there and and what I've done is is I, I went out and I was going and rather than come back by the way I went out we came back by a different route and then I, I was going to come back this way and check out these planets but then I thought well I'll just jump across this connector here to um, Bruda Beta and what I want to do in this part is we're going to actually investigate this system let me just come in here and there's there's a couple of planets that I want to kind of take a look at and the one that kind of intrigues me is this one here it says Xerox resource survey in progress so my instinct is is to drop in and say hello and we've got a backwater here, world here, meagre resources, even bristling with life. And then we've got this one over here. It says barren rock carries history on its surface. Um, this one's got multiple anti-aircraft tar turrets. It's also got um, Estrum on it. We've got this one here, which I've already visited. So we don't really want to go back there. We've got a couple of um, empty spaces, which... And um, we've got an asteroid belt out here with some um, water, which we might need to take a look at. We got this one here as well. Um, sometimes it gets a bit. This is a nascent lava planet with high gravity. Now, I am thinking about going to this um, planet, but mainly just to demonstrate you guys how, to, how you can sit, work out whether your ship can deal with high gravity. But we won't do that in this part. What I'm really more interested in at the moment is whether we're going to be able to get into one of these. But so I think we're going to just go and say hello to the Xerox. But of course, we're not going to be doing that in the Pioneer. We're just going to leave the Pioneer here, which is nice and safe. We'll power it off. We need to decouple the Purple Baron because I want to take um we're gonna take some serious ships with us this time and decouple level off oh, I was thrusters on not staying long I, I need something to eat as well food and meds a couple of those so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna move the the uh, SVs over. We're going to take both so we can mine and do a, an aggressive 
control if necessary. Okay, guys, I'm just going to move these and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I've managed to get the ships in in a little bit better arrangement than I've done previously. So what we're going to do now is just head for the bridge. So, crops here, which I think are still growing. That's okay. I grow to here. Trust this on. We're going to put the shields on because we may need them. So here we are. We're just about to the warp drive. Of course, first things first. See what we've got in this system. We've got copper, silicon, cobalt, promethium, and titanium. We've got some scrap ships around. We've got a well, not as big a presence as I thought it'd be. But it looks like we've got some uh, hostile ships moving around. What we're going to do is we're just going to head straight for the moon. So we'll uh, just turn that off and see what we can find on the moon. Quite a few asteroids around here. There's a pirate base over there as well, which might be worth taking a look at. Anyway, anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see you once we get to the moon. So here we are. We're just coming up to the outer limits of the moon and we're just going to drop down the train looks fairly rough and so we just got ourselves another explorer token because this is a nascent moon what we got here we've got four esterum uh, so wouldn't mind the prometheum certainly wouldn't mind the pentaxid Got some Zarkosium, which would be worth taking as well. And we're right on the borderline at the moment. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to come down here. We'll head for that first set of resources and see what we can find. But we found a very small Zarkosium from the get-go. I think I certainly would like to pick that up. Right, we've got a small Zarkosium, small Serpentaxid here. So... I think probably the best option we've got is if I can find a any level place to land. We're just drop down here. Well, it's reasonably level, I suppose. Turn the thrusters off. And what I'm going to do is they're both relatively small. So we got this token here. We got the diced command card. I think what we'll do is put this into odds and ends for the moment. I don't think we're going to need the guy's command card, card again. But you don't need all that ammunition as well. Actually, we'll just put this in the main ammo bay. Oh, no, it's the main ammo bay is nearly full. So we'll put this in the small arms ammo. See, split the difference with the... Oh, I put this in here just to save space. I still didn't do what I was going to do, which was a... Uh... Oh, the other change I've made to the ship is the fact that I put a, a first aid station and an oxygen station up here. So in fact, what I should do is save the template, actually. <laughs> And the reason I put these up is because I am routinely using this entrance here. So I think having these at this end of the ship. The other thing I also want to check is the position of the wireless adapter as well. Because I, I've got a feeling that uh, I probably need a second wireless um, connector up here to get to improve the range. Because when I noticed when we were doing the prison break... I was getting out of range, so I do need to check where the wireless connector is on this ship. I think I'm not going to use the miner just to get this stuff out. So I think what we'll do is we'll just... Come out here. Right, we've got a hail. Right, this would be... A fairly good test of the of the fix actually. So we're just gonna come here. Oh. 
into here. Of course, we, what we've got to do is just connect up to the. Actually, we install in range of the bar, purple baron. Yep. We could actually take this straight into. Actually, wrong one. Um, rules. Bunny hop. And we're magnesium while we're there. And what I'm going to do now is just dig down and pick this up. Let's grab this small amount of zirconium. It won't take long to do it. I think that's about it. It was singularly unimpressive, was it? We got 11 zirconium. <laughs> I certainly want the small and taxi deposit. Okay, we're getting outside the remote connection, so what we're going to have to do is mine this into this one. And the game is just going to drop down on top. Um, the hail's being quite passive, actually. But, well, just wonder whether the devs have been a bit too enthusiastic with the fix. Um. So we're just going to go down and dig out this pentaxid. Because we are burning through a lot of it, so every little bit of pentaxid we can find is welcome. It's pentaxid fixed up got 72 pentaxid which is pretty good we'll just go back to the purple baron and we'll just drop off the pentaxid well I'm definitely gonna have to sort out the wireless connector You can see the ship's so long. The wireless, what I mean, truthfully, this ship probably needs three wireless connectors, or at least two, one at each end. And we'll just drop that off. We'll just drop that off there. And I think what we're going to do now is just, let's just make sure we got some food with us. Have some food and meds. Let's take some hams with us and just want to but we got something over there that would be worth checking out so we're just going to go in this direction and see what this is right we got a colonist settlement here which we could do a bit of trading with. Anyway guys, what I'm going to do now is we've got quite a lot to explore on this moon and what I want to do is go out and see what we can find and I'll be right back once I've explored the moon. It's probably just probably the best way to do this. Welcome back. We're just returning to the Purple Baron after our reconnaissance of the moon. Just to show you what I've done is I've got flown all the way round and the only thing I've found of any interest is a pirate hideout so we're going to go down and take a look at that. I've picked up uh, quite a few resources in the way of Esterum and Promethium. Um, but to be honest, there's nothing much else on the planet here. The other thing that's of potential interest is that I've picked up some alien thorns, some alien plasma and some tier six plasma as well, which is quite useful for making medicine. We've also run into a few of the local aliens and picked up some confetti moss scrapings and fire moss scrapings and that's about it for this uh, um, planet and that's about it for this moon so what we're going to do is I can actually find the entrance let's level up and we'll have to do oops back again have to do a 
a manual adjustment to get through the entrance here. And we're just going to push our way in here. Should be good enough. Yep, so. Doors have shut. Um, I'll turn the power off. I'm kind of debating on how I'm going to attack this base. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult. It's only level one. Um, we'll just do a big quick unload. You can see if I get the container controller, we've got um, a little bit of promethium, a little bit, we'll put the ores in, raw ores. Then we've got a fair amount of sarcosium, uh, a little bit of copper, which I picked up at random, 831 estrum, which is going to be quite useful. And uh, we got 15 pentaxid. The pentaxid is nowhere near as useful as I thought it was going to be. Uh, more food. We can put that in there. Go to the fridge. Put this in here. Whoops. Don't want to put that in there. All this in as well. And of course, we'll just put the food and meds in. Something to eat. And what we're going to do is take the ship closer. The thing about these moons is they're always pretty dark. Plants will be ready to go, so keep picking these up as well. And we get a nice steady supply of food and other bits and pieces. Yeah, player. Oops. Uh, yeah, I still have the connector on, so uh just into the controller. Triple baron or food. Uh, we will just shove all this in here. Make sure we got plenty of it. Now the next thing I want to do is just check my turrets. Yeah, mounted weapons, bases, that should be enough. And we're putting the thrusters on. There's one thing you can't do when you're down on a moon is fire these it will tell you this weapon is not available on the planet so that's something you need to bear in mind that the heavy weapons used by the capital vessel aren't available when you're down on the surface we've got to go we've got to go due east whoops too far over yeah. One thing I would really like in this game is the way is a possibility of being able to filter your scanner. Oops, I've seen someone. Now there are have been random patrols knocking around on this uh, moon as well. We are going kind of quasi in the right direction. We need to go due east. Yeah, I was actually mining out some estrum and I got bounced. <laughs> But that's okay. Um, there's a little bit of Esther in there. And of course, there's the um, predators on the ground as well. Right, there's the the base there. Or the pirate head. Out. Yep, they're hostile. But I if I remember correctly, a pirate hideout doesn't mount any heavy weapons it just mounts light weapons and turrets I'm just kind Okay. I think this is one of the problems when you use a CV 
attacking a base like this, it doesn't really target the weapons that you would like to target. So I think what we'll do is so we can find a flat landing area here. Not exactly the flattest place around here. See if we can drop down here. I think it'd be more cheaper in ammunition to attack with. Uh, there's a little bit of a flat space there. I don't think we actually need the drill back in the container controller. Um, we'll just go in with the Merc. have a quick look at the terrain here because this looks a bit like terrain that might have uh, the alien plasma on but then again it might not be I'm just gonna wait for the shields to build back up again back a bit, let the shields recharge. See this looks a little bit different than what I thought the place should look like. Oh look there's another one there, just firing us. This is a cannon. Whoops, why is my shields gone off? A bit antisocial. I don't think there is a shield disruptor in the vanilla game. Oops, missed some ammunition. I think that is about it. So, uh, there's a turret behind us, or something behind us here. Hello, guys. My turret's not firing. Have a look at the turrets. Not that I need them. Uh, let me just check. You can always rely on the game to let you down. Uh, oops. Yeah, it should be bases. Well, we're just going to go in, guys, and this on foot should be okay. Do these two bots.
Eat the sandwich. Haha. <laughs> see you. Okay, it's a, a laser buddy in there. Turret. Of course, I didn't take my EVA boost off. Another one just there. I think there's a, another turret just down inside. I think what we'll do is we'll trader there, but he's not going to, these traders aren't going to talk to us. <laughs> Well, no matter how much we want to trade with them, because they don't like us. Another. It's everywhere. Okay. I'll show you. They just ignore us. And this side is got an entrance there. Oh, he got shot with a crossbow. with crossbowmen you can't hear she a bit difficult to tell what direction they're coming from and obviously there's where did you come from Another trader there. So, I mean, if you're friends with the pirates, it's everything is pretty good. Nexus, okay, nothing else in here. Do the looting in there. Okay, there's nothing else this way. We've cleared it. room in here that kind of blew up wow keep away from that that's the thruster in there <laughs> right we're being cooked
behind. Wow, he melee me. Quick change. Okay, what have we got? That's terrible parasites. Where's the dermal parasites? Oh, there's somebody else just around that corner. Oh, just get me health back up again. Something was firing at me. It was just there. We just put that. Get rid of him. Get him. This brings us back to where we came in. Ow. Because I found the core, yep. Um, okay. Let's start looking at the loot boxes. Oh, we'll take that. Let me just offload what I've got in the way of. Oops, I'm doing that. Just offload. Go in the fridge. This can go in the controller. Now, obviously, there's a lot in this place here. Read the waffle. Anything else? What I'm going to do is just have a wander around, see if we can. Ah, ah. Okay, there's a doggo. We're not finished. I thought we were finished, but obviously we're not. Let's just have a bit of a reload. Put some Mickey guys in here. Right, we found the core. Haha. <laughs> that looks very much like it's behind a an armored window with a loot box alongside it. Uh, there may be whoops, a way in just up there, just do it this way. That's the way in. We just need to get up there now. Got up there. Okay. Haha. <laughs> We're in. What I will do is we're just going to do the uh, loot box first. Because it's not that I don't trust this game, but it won't be the first time I've blown up a core and it's blown up the loot box above it. Right. 
we've got some more over here worth taking a rail gun and we've got some more here as well just to make sure we're the generators some fuel in here and sixty eight worth take the fuel oh very on route that's quite useful I'll push out that. Definitely a doggo in here somewhere. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll. And of course, we've got all these ammo boxes. I think these ammo boxes would be quite useful. As well. So we're certainly going to be looting these down. Bronze. Absolutely no what idea what use that will be in the game. Got a fridge over here, which is probably going to eat the herbal leaves. Um, minigun. We did that one. Let's take that. Right, we got some odds and ends reasonable take that keep armed let's just say I'll, I'll do all these other small loot boxes off camera I'll just show you the whoops Right, so there's loot boxes there. Take the shotgun shells. Like that. Again, nothing particularly that special. Uh, anything else in there? They were Take the ammo boxes. Of course, now we've got a what a pot uh powerful cv the contents of ammo boxes becomes a lot more important now uh, our constructor which could be useful some more stuff there hello we got some spitters hello goodbye was what we got here is a nice big um, enclosed thruster. I'm just kind of a little bit tempted to actually pour it just to get that thruster. Um, a lot. What we got down here? We got some energy cells. Which we're certainly going to take. that for luck there's a lever here it's probably doesn't anything that might have been a quick way to destroy the core if you know that feel free to chuck it in the comments and i think that's about it guys i think i will core this base just to get that thruster and then we can get some what's the what's the blocks they're just run right, it's fairly standard uh, steel blocks like this as well and of course that's the kind of wandering foot kind of area we went down to last time anyway guys it's getting a little bit warm here in here because of course we in the currently in the uk we're in the middle of a heat wave so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting what I'll do is I'll loot out all this stuff off camera 
because this is all fairly standard loot. What we'll be doing in the next part is possibly taking a look at the uh, the Merry Christmas, whatever it is. <laughs> but until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.